Hi all folks, this is Max from uh, GalaxyS2Root.com So today I'm going to show you how to um, run your T-Mobile on your AT&T Galaxy Note You can buy an AT&T Galaxy Note and run it on your T-Mobile network Get 3G and 4G and data So first you'll have to root it, uh, root your AT&T Galaxy Note And also install Clockwork Mount Recovery uh, both of which I have instructions on my site, rootgalaxynote.com. And once you've done that, um, you'll have to unlock your AT&T Galaxy Note. You can use any any of the unlock cell phone unlocking services. You just enter IMEI number, and they'll unlock it within like a couple minutes. Um, I have a video of that. Also, you can use, uh, watch my video as a reference um, uh, over at rootgalaxynote.com. And once you've rooted uh, and uh, installed Clockwork Mind Recovery, and you've installed, uh, you've unlocked your phone, and uh, I've have uh, my T-Mobile SIM card here, and this should actually work for other other networks too, like Rogers, Bell, and uh, Telus, whatever the modems are available. I'll also have links to different modems. Um, and uh, once you've that done. done um, you'll have to flash the new modem. I already got it flashed, but I can reflash it. Um, and also, there's uh, in case you want to go back to the original AT&T modem or the Rogers or whatever, I'll have the links to that too. Connect it to your computer. Next, uh, you will want to um, the one the modem that worked for me. I have two modems here for Timo VKL a VKL one. This one. Um, you can try both, but try the VKL one. It should work um, since it worked for me. And also, I'll have uh, modems for other, you know, Telus and uh, Rogers and Bell, um, in case you want to try it. Um, and then, basically, you can copy whatever radio for your network. So in this example, I'm gonna use VK one, and copy and go to your um, go to your storage here. SGHI717 phone and uh, here I've, I've actually copied it over as you can see I've copied both modems over um, so just keep, copy over the VKL1 uh, modem and then next let's go back to our phone and uh, we're gonna put we're gonna block, boot into Clockwork My Recovery hold down the volume up and, uh, volume up and volume down and the power button together and uh, you can, if you're on a custom ROM like me, you can just hit recovery. But I'll show you the manual method. And uh, when the screen goes off, let go of the power button, keep holding down the volume up and volume down like me, and you'll get into clockwork mod recovery. And here we're gonna um, basically install from zip and choose the modem. That's about it. And if you wanna uh, install another modem, just do that. And it should work uh, regardless of your gingerbread or ICS or whatever, even though ICS isn't here um, for AT&T Galaxy Note. Go down to install zip from SD card using your volume rocker, hit the power button, and then choose zip from SD card or choose zip from internal SD card depending on where you copied it to. I don't actually have an SD card, so um, I have it on my internal SD card. Choose that. And then go go choose the modem you want to install. Again, um, choose the modem for appropriate carrier. I have T-Mobile. For T-Mobile, choose the um, try the VKL one. Hit the power button. Say yes. Hit the power button. And by the way, these modems actually are compatible with AT&T, so um, you won't have to reflash AT&T to use AT&T. Um, you can, I mean, if you have signal problems, but it, it's working perfectly fine on mine. Um, and then choose, go back, and uh, reboot system now, hit the power button, and we should have a T-Mobile uh, running on our AT&T Galaxy Note. This is really cool. And I, I know a lot of T-Mobile users ask me, um, they still want to get the Galaxy Note even though they, they'll only get uh, Edge. But now you can just flash the T-Mobile modem and you'll have, uh, um, you know, 3G and 4G, which is great, which is awesome. And I'll have a video, full video review of this and how to kind of use it um, because, uh, you know, well, I don't really get great 4G signals for T-Mobile anyways, but I have another video. 
that shows uh, me using it from in my second floor. Um, so it's it's actually an HSPA mode, but that's why it's connecting. I don't get HSPA down here in my basement. Uh, if you go to wireless and networks, mobile networks. And uh, usually you want to put it on GSM HSPA mode and it should pick up um, Edge or 4G. But in my basement I don't get, I, don't, I get barely any HSPA. Um, so that's why it's not picking up. But if I do that it will get Edge. Uh, and I'll have my second video, I'll have the links below that shows me getting 4G um, and uh, 3G or 4G HSPA plus. And I'll, I'm getting really good speeds on my second video. Um, it's just not connecting right now. Now it's kind of slow. T-Mobile just crap. It's the worst in my basement here, basement office. So I've got Edge, and you can actually force it to 4G. Um, basically, well, I'll, I'll explain it in my second video. I'm gonna upload it next, and uh, I'll have links in my description, and also you can find it at uh, Galaxy S. Uh, rootgalaxynote.com anyway that was how to um, how to get uh, basically how to use your AT&T Galaxy Note on T-Mobile uh, T-Mobile's network that's it anyway thanks y'all and see you guys later and uh, if you like oh yeah don't forget to um, hit that like button subscribe to our channel and uh, um, share with your friends and also, if you if you have a Galaxy Note, don't forget to um, subscribe to my website, uh, email list at my website, at rootgalaxynote.com, where I give you tips like this and ROMs of the week once or twice a week. I don't share your email with anyone else. And uh, um, thanks you guys for supporting my channel. And look for that video um, coming up right away. See y'all later.